The world only seems to be moving faster and faster as society continues to develop. Expectations are going higher. Technologies are pushing us towards efficiency in all we do, and productivity is becoming a religion. Things must come immediately, conveniently, and quickly, whether it's an answer from a simple Google search or a package that arrives on our doorstep. But are we going too fast? Beyond what human beings can handle? Is it possible to be too productive and efficient that it becomes a detriment more than a benefit to us? In light of this era of all things productivity and technology, the slow living movement began, advocating a shift towards slower paced living and cultivated self awareness. Its roots exist in the slow food movement. Which advocates locally grown food and traditional cooking against large scale manufactured food, but has been adopted by various organizations and individuals in other life areas. If you're new to slow living, there's no need to transform your lifestyle overnight, as it's a constant journey of being aware. And taking small steps and breaks to allow yourself to be slow. Even if you're a busy student or a hustling working individual, take some of these tips into consideration slowly, as everything good takes time and we need to be patient with ourselves through any lifestyle change. Slow living comes with many benefits, as we're not created to be productive machines. But as human beings that need rest and time to recharge. And don't worry, you can still be productive when you live slowly with more intention, as you may observe that you'll function better with a clear mind and rest beforehand. So, with that, here are a few lifestyle habits to help you get started with living more slowly. One, Learn to say no. We often pile on more work, commitments, and responsibilities in today's busy world to please others or perhaps to boost our self image and worth. We're afraid of failing others, do our best to hustle, and maintain our image by continuing to achieve, create results, and reach success. Yet, At the end of the day, that ongoing hustle becomes draining, and the joy that comes with purposeful work or relationships disappears. Our studies, work, and commitments with others ought to be good things, but it's essential to set boundaries so they don't become contaminated with negativity. If you're having difficulties figuring out what to say no to, don't worry. You don't have to figure it out overnight. It's all part of the slow process. Two, turn off devices intentionally. You're probably watching this video on a cell phone or a computer, and will close the window soon after to answer an email, tackle a work task, or check out another piece of content on social media. Our lives are so embedded on our devices these days, and are integral in how we work, live, and play, and we've become glued to our screens. Using technological devices feeds our addiction to fast paced, instant results. They're made to make our lives easier and more efficient, but it's important to unplug and turn them off every so often to focus and be present. Even if it feels slow, and allow our minds to readjust to a more natural cadence that our bodies are made for. Three, go slow and take time with everyday actions. We've programmed ourselves to go at lightning speed 
as soon as we're awake. Wake up, wash up, eat, work, eat again, wash up, sleep, and repeat. Instead of going about your daily routine without much thought and just trying to get by each day, consider having a few intentional moments during your day. This can be as simple as writing in a notebook instead of typing to help process your ideas and thoughts. Notice the way the letters form as you place pen to paper, the color of the ink, or the feeling of the page on your palm. Or the next time you have lunch, chew a bit more slowly. Notice the textures and flavors that come with each bite. What are some things that stand out? Can you detect all the spices that have been integrated into the dish? Whatever it is, take some time to observe and cultivate a sense of awareness of even the simplest of things. Four, make no plans and set no expectations. If you have the luxury of having a free day on the weekend, try keeping an open schedule with no commitments. Let go of your expectations and all your thoughts about your potential plans. Keep it free flowing and do something that you enjoy, whether it's going outside for a walk picking up a hobby you haven't tried in a while, or exploring a local city, and just let the time pass by. Even if it's not a full day, a few open hours can help you recharge and slow down. It's so important to regularly schedule in these days of rest that truly allow us to let go of everything that's going on around us. And last but not least, number five, try making and creating. Though we can purchase most things at a store just a few minutes away, consider the art of creating. Attempt a new recipe and cook a fantastic meal from scratch, or grow your food and watch it develop over time. Or maybe you want to try songwriting again or sewing a handmade piece of clothing. Taking intentional time and space to do these things is an enjoyable process, and you'll learn to have a deeper appreciation for the results after going through everything. Remember that so many good things in life take time. Whether it's the most profound marriage between an older couple or the tree that begins to grow and finally bear delicious fruit. It's ingrained in our DNA to have purposeful work and to fill our society with so many good things, but we often forget our limits and our need for rest. So savor the moments and take some time today to observe and be present. If you're looking for a simple DIY, you can find a mini workshop on my Patreon page to help you slow down and create something from scratch today. I'm also filming a Q&A video soon on my Patreon, so if you'd like to get deeper into all things slow, simple, and sustainable, I'd love to have you join in on the conversation and we'll link the details below. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you guys all have a blessed day.